Well, welcome again to uh, RMTV. We're joined by uh, Mick Cash, uh, Assistant General Secretary. Mick, the um, referendum uh, on the harmonisation plans, uh, the papers have gone out. Uh, members will be receiving those. Can you just take us through what the key issues are? Yeah, um, we are balloting all our members on Network Rail uh, maintenance organisation in the clerical admin, personal technical grades, supervisory grades and the um, track uh, grades and with a recommendation to vote uh, no to the proposals that we've uh, received and been discussing with uh, Network Rail for the last three years. Um, initially when we discussed uh, start discussions on harmonisation it was about trying to get one set of terms and conditions for uh, all the, our members employed in maintenance. Since then it's become quite clear that Network Rail are using it as an opportunity to uh, make efficiency savings and uh, seek to get productivity at the, uh, at, um, uh, at the expense of our members uh, and therefore we've seen a radical change to what they what we were talking about originally in discussions to uh, what they've now put in the document which is all about productivity um, talking about things like home start, site start, they want multi-skilling, multitasking, redeployment, retraining um, the pay rates uh, they want to change uh, from what we currently have and uh, which we don't find acceptable uh, the enhancements they're trying to change all the way through the piece it's all about um, helping network rail although they argue it's new money, there's some new money in there actually it's about in the long term helping deliver a 21% uh, cut um, in budgets over the next five years dictated by the RRR and that's not the purpose of harmonisation as far as we were concerned Okay, um, this comes hot on the heels of the financial returns from Network Rail only this week, showing that notionally they made a, a, a profit of uh, one and a half billion pounds, uh, and bragging about the fact that they'd actually got this money and that uh, going to pay out the bonuses again to the, the senior directors. Um, how does this kind of fit with what they're saying on one hand about their financial performance and running more trains, on the other hand, making cuts in engineering grades? Well, you know, it doesn't fit actually. Uh, £1.5 billion pound profit um, and all they could say to us to afford to uh, make the deal um, effective was to put £30 million pound of extra money into the package to try and get harmonisation. Um, we've said from day one, uh, certainly when we found out the figure was only £30 billion, that it wasn't, it wasn't enough. Um, and hence the reason why they've put the productivity measures in place to actually make um, the members, our members, pay for, for, for the new terms and conditions. When it's quite clear they're uh, an organisation that's got plenty of money and uh, I think it's an absolute disgrace that um, you know, they can make a profit on £1.5 billion pound, but say they can't afford to put enough money into this package to make it a, um, a deal worth us recommending to our members, which you can't at the moment. The fact is this, um, uh, we, we, we want to have a situation where if you work with Network Rail, you wear the same logo, you're on the same paying conditions, but we're not going to allow Network Rail to, ask, to sell our souls to do that uh, and uh, for our members to be at a detriment and that's what they propose currently. And it just annoys me after spending so much time, because this is not the first time they've been in profit, that they um, have not been prepared to put enough money up front to get a deal that allows us to be able to recommend uh, to the members, which is beneficial to the members and would in the long term be beneficial to the company. And what's the message to the members? Uh, you'll be receiving your ballot paper over, in, over the coming days. Um, ballot closes on the 23rd of June. Uh, the clear recommendation from the executive to vote no. We would like you to um, uh, vote no, vote in the first place and vote no because we want not only to um, get a good uh, no uh, uh, vote, but we also want to be able to prove to Network Rail that the, a huge amount of our members are speaking at the same time, so participate and vote no. Okay, thanks very much, Mick. Thank you.